Hello students, how are you? I think you are all fine. I am also fine. Myself Mercy from Bharati Dasanar Metric Higher Secondary School. I am your computer science teacher. Today I am going to take a class 6th standard computer science. In this unit 3 we are going to see introduction to basic 256. So these are all the top six topics today we are going to discuss. First we are going to see what is basic 256 window, then sections. Writing and execution of a program, saving and loading of a program, syntax and print statement, rem statement. This is what today we are going to discuss. This is the panel of basic 256. If you are download and open the basic 256, it will be the opening window of a basic 256. Here you can see uh, many sections. In basic 256, it has six sections. One is a title bar, the top of the window you can see, this is a title bar and next you can see a menu bar. What is menu bar? It includes the menu that is a file, edit, view, run and help. So this is the menu bar. Next we are moving to toolbar. So here we have a tools, we have to create a new file, open a file and save then run and debug. These are all the options in toolbar. Next we are most used process program area. Here we have to write the program and next we can see a text output area. This is the text output area. If you run the program, the text will be appear here. Otherwise, if you run the program, the graphic output will be appear here. So, this is all the sections of basic 256. Next, what is typing and executing of the program? So, we have to type the program first and we have to execute the program. Today, we have to see a simple program about say. Say means solun artho. So, if you are using say, the computer will read the program. I am using say, hi Hari, how are you? I am fine here. So, this is my program. I am going to execute. I am going to write the program and I am going to execute the program. So, I am complete the program. Then how can I execute? First, I have to click run option. In a menu bar, I have to click run. Otherwise, I can press a five, F5 key. It will execute the program. Now, we can see on example program. Say, then you have to write the program in between the double quotes. It will read the program. So, I am writing say, then double quotes, hi Hari. Then say, how are you? Then say, I am fine here. This is what my program. I am going to run. So, first I have to click hi. run. How are you? I am fine here. Yes. So, this is what the output of this program. After run, the computer will read the program. Hi Hari, how are you? I am fine here. This is what the message. You can press F5 instead of pressing run. So, F5. Hi Harry. how are you? I am fine here. So, this is the output of the given program. So, next we are moving to saving and loading the program. Yes, I complete my program. Then I want to save means first you have to go file menu. In that below you have to click save. After that you have to give the name of the file. Uh, I am giving the name Hari because my friend name is Hari. So, I am saving Hari. After I have to give save means the program will be saved. Where I want to save maybe a desktop or C drive, D drive. Wherever you want to save, you have to select the location and you have to give the save option. So, next we are moving to syntax. So, what is mean by syntax? In your max, you are using formulas for doing sums. Here, we are using syntax, the rules for writing instruction in a programming language. It is a rule to write the instruction in a programming language. If you made any mistakes in the syntax, it will produce the error, it, in, it will indicate the error. So, you have to rectify the error and you have to run the program. Now, we are going to see a print option. So, print option, 
நம்ம ஒரு ப்ரோக்ராம் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ரைட் ஆன் ப்ரோக்ராம் அண்ட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸிக்யூட் த ப்ரோக்ராம் யூசிங் த வேர்ட் பிரிண்ட் ஸோ நவ் ஐ எம் எக்ஸிக்யூட் த சேம் ப்ரோக்ராம் தேர் ஐ எம் யூசிங் சே ஹியர் ஐ எம் யூசிங் பிரிண்ட் ஸோ பிரிண்ட் ஐ எம் கிவிங் டபுள் கோட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹை ஹரி ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் பிரிண்ட் ஹவ் ஆர் யூ நெக்ஸ்ட் ஐ எம் பிரிண்ட் ஐ எம் ஃபைன் ஹியர் எஸ் ஐ எம் ஃபைன் ஹியர் ஸோ ஹியர் ஆஃப்டர் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு ரன் த ப்ரோக்ராம் மீன்ஸ் it will appear in our text output box so let's see how it will be appear here we are going to see a print a program so we have to use the word print after that you have to give the double quotes in between the double quotes you have to write the message what you want to output what you want to produce the output so here print then i am giving hi hari next i am going to print how are you next i am going to print i am fine here this is my program i am going to execute how can i execute first i have to press the run so the same program will be here this is the output so i am giving print double quotes hi hari so if Uh, if there is any mistakes you are not giving double quotes yes it's a mistake it will create a um, error it will show an error you so you have to put the double quotes then you have to run for example i am giving i am going to erase this double quotes and i am going to run so here you can see a syntax error on a line 1 around a column 6 so first line 1 i have a error what is i am not giving this double quotes in the first line so now i am going to give the double quotes next i am going to run the program it will produce an output next we are moving to print the statement next we are moving to rem statement what is rem statement everyone using the statement that is you are going to use hash that is called rem statement in basic 256 the rem statement what is the use of rem, rem statement means you have to give the rem statement in between the program it will not accept to run the program it is the notes you are going to give some notes to your friends or your uh, friends or your brothers anything you want to give a message means you have to give that rem statement after the rem statement the text will appear green color let's show so here i am going to write something i am giving rem so this is my program okay so here i am using rem statement after the rem statement the text will appear green color what is the mean of this rem statement it will not accept by the program but it gives some uh, reference it gives some messages to the programmer so regarding this program you can give a notes or you can give some advices based on the program using this rem statements so today we are start our discussion about basic 256 in that we are discussed sections of basic 256 and writing program and execution next how can we save the program and print options then we are additionally see the say options after that rem statement this is what today we are discussing here after we will go for some other topics in the basic 256 next classes we are moving to uh, loops and if conditions in the below description we attached the question paper and study material uh, kindly go through it and study well thank you